Hey, welcome to another week here at the Tolerin. This week we're continuing our work here in the second floor with our can lights, trying to set the last few can lights. Unfortunately, because it is so cold, um, or at least on Saturday it was so cold, I was only here for a, an hour or so yesterday, and then today I have a little shorter day just because it's Sunday and I don't try, I try not to work too much on Sundays so it's gonna be a shorter video I'm trying to do a few little walking around a few kind of tours explaining a few things so that we still have uh, some footage but um, come on inside and let's go to get to work so it is even colder today than it was last week it is 12 degrees um, it's supposed to get warmer a little bit today to up to like 20 degrees Fahrenheit Which is I don't know how many negative degrees in, in Celsius this is um, But I'm only here for a few uh, Minutes because when I came here during the week We had a storm and a lot of the Styrofoam and window coverings that I put on last week uh, Were just blown back out because it was just so strong of a wind so I am here to secure it a little better. Um, I got some wood thing, uh, wood straps that I'm gonna put across it to hold the styrofoam in place. Um, and then I'll probably be heading out. Um, Elias is not feeling good today um, or the last few days. And so we're just gonna spend some time at home and relax today until it gets better. Tomorrow the weather is gonna supposed to get a little better. Um, it's really sunny today, but it's just really cold and then tomorrow it's supposed to warm up at least into a few degrees positive um, On the Celsius side and somewhere in the, like 34 36 um, Fahrenheit so it'll be nicer tomorrow to work on the lights again and today just to relax So last week I mentioned that we have our roofs fixed here soon as soon as all the snow is gone and I was mentioning something about the chimney and I don't think I was 100% clear what I meant. Um, as you can see here this chimney um, is perpendicular so the white side is in parallel with the roof line here so it's perpendicular with the way the water comes down. So because of that a lot of water pools right at the back of that chimney in the white side on the side of the roof and there's really no way the, for the water to run off very well so what happens over the years is that the water just slowly starts seeping in the back of that chimney and one of the changes that we're making to the roof is that behind that chimney there we will have a small little extra roof section that is going to come right out so basically below that metal rod there, there will be a small section to just divert the water to the left and the right of the chimney. So it doesn't pull against the wall of the chimney itself.
So in case people are wondering why I have two can lights right here that are so close together, well, the first one here is one of the two that I have in the bathroom, uh, in the main section of the room, and we will be able to dim that uh, light. And then the one further is inside the shower, and it is water rated, so it it's just giving you the light inside the shower. You don't want to be in the darkness when you're sitting there. And obviously we'll have a separate light switch for that so that you don't always have to turn it on with everything else. We won't have that dimmable. We'll just have a high um, amount of light just because it's the shower itself. One thing to keep in mind about lights in bathrooms, you don't just need direct light from above. You also always want um, the section where the vanity and the mirror is gonna go. You want some light in front of your face. So otherwise you are working, you're doing something on your face, putting makeup on or um, just cleaning your face. You wanna be able to obviously have direct light right in your face so that you can see it in the mirror. So we still haven't set those yet. Um, I'm just trying to put light everywhere in every room without all the um, highlighting lights or um, extra lights that you want to do as decorational. Um, so really just cans to put direct light into the room, but then everything else um, is coming later. So we do have a few extra roof lines, like for example here, or on the front side, the porch. We are actually not fixing either one of those two. The porch itself is a project by itself to just get it all fixed up. And then this one up here, which is basically right there where the kitchen is, um, that we are turning into just an open balcony. I'm not 100% sure yet if we will have a roof over it, but the entire structure itself is in pretty bad condition. So we will just take this whole section down. Um, you can see here there's a brick uh, column right here. Um, we will have to take all of that stuff down because it's, in, it's really deteriorated. Uh, people haven't taken care of it. And the wood inside um, that is cover the co covered section is really rotten. So we will take the whole stu structure down. We will put it back up, of course, the way we um, think it was originally um, intended and then we will see if we will have a roof over it or not but that's kind of the reason why we will not fix this section of the roof here we will just do the main um, roof itself over the rest of the building so besides sorting and stacking all of our slate my dad also stacked three pallets there's two right here and there's one over in that direction of brick um, this is all the brick that is coming from our old fireplace or chimney stack that we had in the back of the building we will use a lot of those bricks um, in just odds and ends there's a few areas where the main chimney stack through the house where i need to fix some of the arches where i don't have the bricks there so i will reuse some of those old bricks here and then we will probably also use the brick that we have here for areas outside so we might put a brick wall in the front of the building at certain sections and having a lot of that old brick that you just can't find anymore. Um, these are all handmade bricks. So just having all of that stuff is gonna be nice. It's gonna 
give that wall a much more of an antique look when we're done with it. So the, week, uh, the wall that I was talking about is this wall. For example, this wall has to be rebuilt. It isn't original, it's block. Um, they probably just had pillars underneath the porch right there. And then eventually they um, open up this area. They dug out the basement. So they, will, they probably also did this. Unfortunately, this wall is in really bad condition. There's a big crack um, at one spot where all the water comes in. And they fixed the far wall that is basically right next to our entrance. But they didn't fix this wall when, when they did that main fix. So what we'll do is we will probably take this down when we do the porch. And just open up that area and put up those uh, brick pillars as they were originally were. So here you can tell where they did some remodels and some fixes in this area. Um, you see uh, brick pillars. These were probably original. They might have gone even further down. Um, but these are original pillars that were clearly sitting here. Um, they did this wall at one point. There was some higher windows in here that they bricked up um, over time. But um, they clearly redid this wall at some later time, which is done really well. So what we will do is we'll probably just continue with the same blocking all the way through. We we'll pull it all out and finish it and then end it up with a brick pillar just like it was supposed to be. We might put a door right there in this section so that we can have a nice little shed area underneath our porch. Well, I think this is it for this week. I will see you guys the next time I turn on the camera. Bye.